Hello everybody, my name is Joy and welcome to The Day We Left, a game about Syrian refugees made by Inner Void. Now this game was released about nine days ago, um, and I think the title quite speaks for itself. But before I get started, I just want to make sure to say that I do not want to use this video in any way to express my opinion. I just want to show you this game because I know that refugees are currently a bit of a controversial topic. A lot of people have a lot of opinions about it. And I, I just want to show what this game has to offer because it seems like a very interesting, a very important concept. And I think this is one of those indie games that tries to start the right conversation. So that's why I want to play it. So I'm not going to be giving my opinion. None of this reflects my opinion in any way, shape or form. And I guess that's the end of this little PSA here. So without further ado, without further rambling, Let's just get to it. I already like the music a lot, by the way. Oh, and this is not a finished product, by the way. I should not um, forget to mention that. It's an early alpha build, as you can see. Nasir, nothing. Fucking nothing. This car will get us nowhere. The engine is dead. Okay, can I click on it? We'll have to walk our way through the whole goddamn country. Fatima. I told you the car was a terrible idea. It's the second time this thing breaks. We should have gone with a bus. Kusai? Right, to get robbed or imprisoned at the first checkpoint. Okay, oh, okay, yeah, because you can make decisions in this game. Ask about the car, say something encouraging, check the map, or say nothing. See, check the map. Rashid, according to the map, we're halfway there. We can do it even without a car. Screw this. Are we seriously going to walk for days now? Ada? Sorry if I butchered the names, by the way. We're halfway. It's not going to be faster if we turn back. And at this point, it would be stupid to do that. We haven't sacrificed everything just to stop at the first setback. God will grant us the strength to go on. Ask about the car. Say something encouraging. Yes, yeah, say something encouraging. We knew something like this could happen. And we were prepared for it. We'll walk for the rest of the way and meet the guy I told you about. Everything will be fine. We're in the middle of nothing. We're not going to be fine. Well, we actually have a lot of food and water and we're not that far from our destination. Let's ask about the car. What happened? I thought you already fixed it once. Yeah, I did, but it was a temporary hack job. Something broke inside the engine and I can't fix it. We need money and time. And a decent workshop, too. I can't do much with rocks and dust. And... Let's gather our things and leave. Wasting more time is futile. We can talk while we walk. How long are we going to walk? Nisha. For half our fucking country. That's how long. Hey, what's your fucking language? Scold Hadar. Tell Nisha a half-truth. Tell Nisha the truth. Focus on getting away. Tell Nisha the truth. Don't lie to kids. The car helped us a lot. But there's a long way ahead of us. That's why we better go as soon as possible. We don't have a choice anyway, right? That's the deal. We should go. There's no time to lose on silly chatter. We can't take all our stuff with us, so we'll have to find some of it behind. Leave some of it behind, sorry. I'll check the trunk and see what we might take or not. What about the money? We'll need a lot of it if we want to make it walking. We have $5,000. It should be enough. Let's hope so. Yeah... Let us know when you're done. Oh my, okay. We're getting started here. Nisha, where are you going? Are you just running around a bit? Okay, I can steer with the mouse here. You can see my mouse, right? Yeah, you should be able to. Can I talk to you? Daddy, if we're really going to walk for days, don't worry about me. I won't slow us down. I know it's a long way, but I'll try not to ask for pauses and I will carry my own things. It's not a problem. Yeah, she's probably worried. That's so sad. Don't worry, thank you. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. It's not a problem, darling. You can rest if you feel tired. The most important thing is to get there safely. It's fine. I know I can do it. What about Kusai? This is bad, isn't it? But I guess it was to be expected. We'll walk just like all the others. It was just bad luck. Better than nothing, we can do this. We can do this. We gotta keep our heads up. It won't be easy, but we can do this. As you said, we knew the car would break or that we could be forced to abandon it. Let's hurry up then. I'm not eager to walk, but neither to lose time. 
Go back to here. I'm sorry about the car. Repairing it first time was hard already. This time there's nothing I can do. Reassure him, change the subject, blame him. No, I'm not gonna blame him. It wasn't your fault. We did all we could. There's no point in thinking about it now. Exactly. You're right. There's nothing left to do. Gather our stuff and let's get out of here. Right. First I want to talk a little bit to Haydar and to Fatima. What's her name? We'll never get to Europe. We'll never get out of this country. We shouldn't have left home. Confront him or ignore his attitude. Oh god, because I assume that he is a bit of a young guy, like a teen or so. Let's confront him. Just stop with this already. It will take days, maybe weeks to reach our final destination. You can't keep behaving like this. It won't do anything good, but sow animosity among ourselves. I told you I didn't want to leave. At least not like that. We didn't even have the chance to mourn for mom. Oh god. Empathize, because... I mean, loss, if, if, if he's grieving at the moment, which is... I know it's hard, but it doesn't have to be harder. We already, we all miss mom and we all have our regrets and doubts. But this is what she wanted. This is what we all thought would be safer for our family. We left our old lives behind, but we're leaving for a good reason. Fine, whatever. Oh my. Gather what we need and let's leave. We need to waste no more time. I guess it's too late for second thoughts, isn't it? I told you all that this wouldn't work. But as I said, too late for second thoughts. Sure is. Okay, I assume that would be my inventory. Let's have a look at this car. The car started making strange noises a while ago and Nasir has already tried fixing it once. But this time there's nothing to do. The car's broken and you'll have to walk your way to Kwasay's contact. Let's take the supplies. It takes some time, but you manage to gather the essential supplies. Anything else we can do? You've already taken everything from the car. So I'm guessing this will be my inventory. We get food and water and stuff, okay. Anything else you have to say? Let's go. Okay. Then let's go. Go away. So are we ready to go? Oh, my inventory is now open. How, how do I close it? Okay, yeah, let's go. Sorry, I didn't know how to close my inventory there. Yeah, let's move out. Okay, then let's just try not to overburden ourselves for now. Otherwise, we'll get exhausted real soon. Yep. Well, I guess water and food would be the most important stuff. Fuck. What now? Military checkpoint. They're searching the people passing by. We have nothing to hide. Why are you worried? We're getting closer to one of the hottest areas in the country. They're probably in desperate need of men. We're old, but Haydar is young, and they might want to recruit him by force. Let them try. I'm not going to join those fascists. The moment they give me a gun, I kill them all. If it were so easy, the rebels would have already won the war. We can't risk you getting press ganged. What can we do? Are you sure you're not taking my son? What can we do? What are the options? How can we avoid that? It's too late to go away now. We're too close. We have to hide Haydar or pretend he's unable to fight. They've already spotted us, so we better come up with something and do it now. No, let them see I am No, let them see how eager I am to fight. I'll give them what they deserve. Son, that will be quite the most senseless way to die. You will calm down and play along. Yes. Let's pretend he's mentally ill, let's pretend he's crippled. If they already saw us coming, they probably already know that he's not crippled. So we could pretend he's mentally ill. Let's dress him as a woman. I mean that would take time as well. Let's pretend he's mentally ill. Hey, Dar, you'll have to pretend you are mentally disabled. What? And how am I even supposed to do that? The plan is stupid, not me. What a dumb idea. It can work. All you have to do is act your part and let us handle the talking. I mean, I guess this would be the most effective way of doing it. Because if we were to either dress him up as a woman or to pretend he's crippled, that would both take a bunch of time and they would probably see us doing it. So I guess this would be the best way to go about this. We better hurry, we can't stay here for long, exactly. Do it. We can't risk having you kidnapped or killed. Just plan your just play your part and we'll do the rest. Fine, but remember this day. But I'll remember this day, you can be sure of it. Oh come on, don't be so butthurt. There's no use in that. We're here. Oh god, please help us. I can't believe I'm about to do this. We should fight these fascists. There are only three. We could easily surprise them. That is stupid. 
Shut up. A soldier is about to pass by. Everything will be fine. Just stay calm and don't do anything stupid. He said it's for you. I'm the one who will have to humiliate himself. Shut up and calm down. We all have to make sacrifices. It's not the right time. Do it for the rest of us. Uh, what will convince this guy? Because really, come on, dude. Shut up. Shut up and calm down. We all have to make sacrifices. Do it for the rest of us. Think of the kid. Son, I know this is humiliating, but you have to endure it for everyone's sake. We could be arrested or maybe even worse. Fine, you win, but don't think I like it one bit. You should be grateful for what I'm doing. Ah, screw you, Haydar. And we are Haydar. Now calm down, you're attracting their attention. What do I do? Can I walk? It's our time to get searched, I guess. Haydar, please don't do anything stupid. You, get over here, one by one. This is ridiculous. You have to calm down. It will be over soon, just keep going. All you have to do is stay calm. If you draw their attention, we'll be in trouble. Sure, it's easy as shit not to draw attention while doing this. Will you stop whining? Come on, just a little longer. We've been over this already. Think of the future. Think of the future. Think of your future. Do you really want to be taken away? Put into one of their prisons? We all know we wouldn't want that. Ah, let's just get it over with. I'm tired of this. That's the spirit. How can they be talking like this while they're being searched? Sorry, my screen is a little bit bright, I noticed. Well, can I do something? I'm like trying to move over things and... Okay, now apparently we're just going one by one. Okay, that's a bit better. We're almost done, just a few more minutes. They will let us pass. We did nothing wrong. Papers, please. Here they are. Maybe we can reach an agreement. We don't have papers. Here they are. If I have papers, why wouldn't I? Oh, no. Papers. Here are our papers. Let's see. Nisha, Fatima, this is going to expire soon. You better do something about it. I know, I know. I'm going to make a new one soon. Yeah, yeah, everyone says that. Everything seems to be in order. You can pass. Thank you. Okay, we just got our papers back. Good. I was thinking if I give them my papers, I might not be able to get them back. Come on, let's get going. Well, my, this is already making me feel rather tense. So, are you all going to ignore what happened? I had to humiliate myself in front of them. I humiliated myself to save everyone's collective ass and I wasn't even thanked for it. Oh my god, Hadar. I don't know if he's actually damaged because of his grief, or if he's just being kind of a douche right now. You did what you had to. Do you want to get killed or kidnapped? Hey, Dar, of course we are thankful. There was no other choice, and you are protecting yourself too. We could have found another way. We could have fought them, but the only thing you did was push me into the fray. Oh. Weren't I young and immature? Why do I suddenly have to be responsible for everyone when it's the easiest choice for you? We are all grateful for this, how life works. Everyone has to do something. Calm down. This is not the right time to complain. Everyone has to do something. Everyone has to do his part if we want to stay safe. This is going to be a hard journey. If that's true, then why do you always take my contribution for granted? You treated me like a child, a tool. Before earning some respect, you should start respecting your family, the people older and wiser than you. If I'd behaved like that, my father would have beaten me, Rashid. Are you going to keep your son under control or what? Yeah, great. Thanks, Nasir. That's really helpful. He's hot-headed and disrespectful. I was told Fatima, you and Asha were being too soft with him. Don't you dare drag my mother into this, you asshole. Yeah, come on, dude. Shut up, Nasir. Yeah, I kind of want to tell him to shut up because he's not helping. He's escalating the situation. Do you know what? Stop immediately, both of you. We need to stick together, not fight. I'm not going to march for the rest of the day listening to you two bicker over some banalities. Yeah, we still have half a day of walking to do. Just let it go. Fine, but hear me, Rashid. Someday you'll regret being so forgiving. You just had to fucking say something else, didn't you? God, I don't know. I'm really... They have some pretty good character design. I'm actually so into this. Okay. This is the nighttime phase. Here you will assign provisions and special supplies to the group. Oh, really? You will also be able to talk with the others, with the other characters. Select how much fruit your group is going to consume tonight. 
Lots of food, a good meal, just some crumbs, more than necessary, a meager meal. Nothing. I think we better save. A meager meal. Nisha. Fatima, okay, Nisha. Nisha, your daughter. Let's talk to her. Nisha, honey, you should really get some sleep. Why? It's a long day ahead of us, you don't have to pretend because I say so. There's a long day ahead of us. You need to sleep to have the strength to keep moving. Okay, but what if they take you away in the night? What do you mean? There's nothing to fear. Who? Who? Who'd be supposed to take me away? Melissa took mom. It also happened when I wasn't looking. Aunt Fatima said there were evil demons. Nisha does nothing to fear. We're safe here and we're safe together. Nothing is going to cause us harm. I'll be watching over you while you sleep and ask an angel to protect you from the demons. How about that? Thank you, Dad. I love you. I love you too. Good night, sweetheart. Fatima? What about you? Fatima, your sister-in-law. Let's talk to her. Fatima. Ah, uh, Rashid, I was just thinking about you. Really? How come? Well, you see, I was trying to imagine how our journey will finish. In what country we will end up. I have my own preferences, of course, but I was curious what place you would want to settle in. A big city, a smaller town, some out-of-the-way place, anywhere would be fine. Um... I don't know. I don't know what I would prefer. I mean, I live in a very small town. But I guess I could live in a city too. I guess anywhere would be fine. Anywhere would be fine in our situation. I don't think we can be picky, really. That's rather grim. There's nothing wrong with dreaming, Rashid. God wants, God wants us to be happy. Say nothing or he's not very good at it. Oh, God. Okay, not my opinion. I'm just curious about what he's going to say. He's not doing a very good job at it. Excuse me? You say God wants us to be happy. Have you looked around lately? We're stuck in the middle of nowhere, rationing food, leaving our lives behind because people are so hell-bent on killing each other. You really can't blame God for the wickedness of men, Rashid. All of them will receive their punishment in due time. But I don't feel now is a good time to talk about this. Take care and have faith. Faith. Sorry. Pronounced that wrong. Okay, so, oh, that, that's me, I guess. Rest for a while. Okay, let's talk to Ada. Ada, your son. Let's talk. I'm gonna try and get through all the dialogue of this. I don't know how long this game is gonna be. Um, I will see about that, I guess. I guess I'm gonna go with half-hour parts like any normal other kind of series. Is everything okay? I don't know. I don't think anything will ever be okay again. We're walking towards the unknown. Mom is no longer with us. We don't even know if we'll manage to survive all of this. I don't think I'm okay. I'm alive and healthy, but it may not be enough. We'll be, we will be fine. You're strong enough for it. I can understand your fears. Say nothing. I don't know. When somebody shows their weakness to you, it might not be a good idea to tell them you're strong enough. I can understand your fears. I can understand that. We're all scared of what could happen. You don't have to feel bad about it. I'm not scared. I just find all of this purposeless. Yeah, I'm complaining as always. I know. But, but right now, I can't find any reason to be happy, hopeful, or simply not to keep believing that we made a mistake. Or to be more precise, you made a mistake. No one asked my opinion. It doesn't matter. I'll stop complaining and try to sleep. Can I talk to him some more? I'm really starting to miss my bed. Okay, that's the same. But why is this different? Hey, Dar, your oldest son, he's a little hot-headed, like many of his age. Okay. Let's see, can I examine Nisha as well? Because I want to see, I, I bet that will come in handy later if I can see if they're hungry or unhealthy. Nisha likes to clay. <gasps> no, don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Ah, the game crashed. Um, but I am almost out of time for this episode anyway, so I'm thinking. I, I would love to hear your opinion on this because it's not the finished product yet. Um, would you prefer me to finish this early alpha build entirely? Or would you prefer to see um, me playing this game once it comes out? They have a Kickstarter, by the way, as you can see right now on the screen. Supporters on Kickstarter. If you think this is an interesting concept, an interesting game, I give you a little sneak peek of it. And obviously you can play the early alpha by yourself through the link in the description. 
um, let me know. Let me know what you would like to see of this. Because I think it's an incredibly interesting concept. I think this th these type of games is what make the indie game community interesting and, and good. And something that adds to the gaming community as a whole. So anyway, I'm going to leave it at this. Um, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Check out the links in the descriptions. I will leave a bunch of them down there for you to either support this game or to play the game for yourself. Bye!